know how to go gaga and after going gaga we also know how to calm people that are going gaga down let's go call him excellent god hey guys welcome to the chief family channel how are you all doing it's been a while really yeah how are you all doing how's the holiday going are you all enjoying your holiday make our time to go out there you know and take some time off you deserve it have a me time okay so this video is just a quick a quick drop i'm just going to drop this video as like seeking for your opinion on things that are really there's this video that is making around on social media um this a uh, mom with a child who was kicking someone's seat and the person turned back to say you know um ask your child to not to kick the seat or something and this person this mom reacted the um differently reacted differently to that and asking this person if you have a child if you ever had a child or something like that what's your opinion on that because my anger is that this this woman is also a black person and we should we black people have a way of resetting our children's memory our children's brain like when they go gaga we show them that we know how to go gaga and after going gaga we also know how to calm people that are going gaga down so why i'm making this video is that i've had similar experience when i was pregnant for stephanie i was on my way to hospital and then I, I took the bus and I was sitting, those that are in London will understand where I'm talking about, where they say this pregnant and old people sit. I was sitting down there and that bus was double decker. And the person sitting behind me was this black woman with two children. And I don't want to mention their, I don't want to mention their country. And this kid started kicking the chair I was sitting down. They were kicking the seat behind the seat. And I turned back, I said, please, can you tell them not to kick the seat? And he, this lady started to abuse me, to ask me if I ever know how to push out a baby, if I ever have a child, why would I ask children that are playing to stop kicking the seat? Um, so many things he was just saying, unlike me, I was just quiet because then I was just quiet. I was thinking, what did I say wrong? And then there's this white lady sitting behind. And she just, she was doing hand like this to me and say, calm down, calm down. So I stayed calm. And this other man that was sitting behind me, as she carried on abusing me, insulting me, that all these people that can't have a child, they will be angry when a child is playing, when a child is doing common thing. And then this guy just said, you can't just train your children, that you are not supposed to be a mom, that is it not better not to have a child? than to have children that you cannot control. That this lady haven't said anything wrong. Why are you abusing her? Why are you calling her barren? I didn't say anything because this white lady, old lady in front of him has already told me to calm down. So I was just calm. So when I got up, I was going to come in towards Lusham Hospital. When I got up to go and the driver asked me, is that where you want to get them? I said, no. I said, why the... I can't bear this lady, I need to go. And then the driver said, no, sit down, face her. She's a woman like you. She cannot torment you. And when I got up and the driver said, and the man that was arguing on my behalf now said, she's even pregnant and you're saying that she's barren. And then she kept quiet. You know, these things are common sense. These things are common sense. They are things that we should just do, you know, to save our own face. Why is it that when your children misbehave outside, you cannot control them? You say they are children. And at the end of the day, you start showing us when uh, on social media, when they start breaking your cooker, trashing things in your house, and then, then they become adults. Because you let everything go, you let them do things outside, and then they go, get away with it. So it has to continue. So why do you cry? And why do we keep saying, oh, the government has taken my children. They, I will come to that later. But this issue, what is your take? What is your opinion? What would have been your reaction if you were to be that woman? And also, what would have been your reaction if you were to be that man? My reaction when it happens to me, I ignore the woman because 
I just thought then I had Christabel already. So I've had a child and I have a child who is very cool, who listens. So I cannot be proud to say my children are disturbing other people and making them uncomfortable in a public transport. No. If my child misbehave, I will take care of my child. I will handle my child. Controlling is different from training. We should get it right. We should say, I don't want to control my child. No, you cannot control anybody's life because you are not God. God is the only controller that we have. Training is different. Discipline is different from abuse. So let's get it right. Please, mothers out there, we should do better. My take on this is say no, no for me. My child can behave that way outside. My child knows that she cannot, not even inside the house. Because this kind of children are children that call it, they, they call the shot in the house. Because if they can call the shot outside, they are calling the shot. If you can't speak to your child outside, that means you can't even speak, open your mouth in the house. What is your take on this issue? I'll leave you guys here to let me know what you are. I want to hear your opinion on this issue. Thank you so much for watching. From the She family, we love you. We appreciate your help, your support, as you're always coming back to watch. Subscribers, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video and turn on your post notification bell so you'll be the first to be notified if we upload any of our amazing videos. Okay? Returnees, thank you so much for always stopping by here. We appreciate you. Take care now. Bye. See you later. Bye.